Their daughter's photos are fading, but memories of her are not. It's like it happened yesterday, her father says. It changed our lives, his wife adds. We have fewer friends, go out less. Admira Ismich was shot in Sarajevo May 18, 1993. She was fleeing the city and the deadly civil war with her boyfriend, Boshko Burkic. She was a Muslim. He was an Eastern Orthodox Serb. Childhood sweethearts from opposite sides of the ethnic religious divide. They were just 25. They were walking across this bridge. It was incredibly dangerous, right between the two front lines. And then a shot rang out. Boshko fell dead to the ground, killed by a sniper's bullet. Then another shot, and Admira was hit. Instead of crawling away, she moved over to her lover, put her arm around him, and died there. For eight days, no one dared get their bodies. Eventually, Serb soldiers took them to a nearby barracks for burial. Admira's Muslim parents couldn't cross the front line. Only Boshko's Serb mother could get there. Nineteen years later, her pain has barely ebbed. I keep trying to make sense of it, she says. They were innocent. There was no battle going on there. Admira and Boshko's love defied the corrosive ethnic hatred that erupted in Bosnia following the breakup of the former Yugoslavia. In death, they became known as Romeo and Juliet. I don't care. I don't know who the killer is, she says. Even if they gave him a hundred years in jail, even killed him, what difference would it make? For Admira's parents, too, retribution no longer important. I kept thinking, what would I do if the killer came to my door, her mother says. My husband wouldn't look at him. I always thought I could strangle him, but after all this time, I wouldn't care. What would it mean now? Romeo and Juliet, Admira and Boshko, now share a grave in Sarajevo's famous Lion Cemetery. At their feet, the grave of the world-class American reporter, Kurt Short, who first told their story and helped their parents. Boshko's mother is ill, now lives half a day's drive away in neighboring Serbia, unable to visit as much as she'd like, but still good friends with the in-laws she almost had. Across the ethnic divide, both families united in blaming their political leaders. I'm sorry the war happened, she says. It needn't have been. So many people died in vain. May war not happen again, he says. His wife adding, so no mother need cry over her baby again. Nineteen years after their death, Admira and Boshko still a beacon for a better future. Nick Robertson, CNN, Sarajevo, Bosnia-Herzegovina.